Grace have you today. U.S. federal agents have raided two homes belonging to music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. He's reportedly the target of a federal investigation that handles sex trafficking crimes. Law enforcement was seen Monday at Combs Homes in Miami and L.A. Nasty, get the fuck out of here. You may. And you're actually seeing a lot of this right now from men specifically who are coming out against dudes in this industry who are predators. You're seeing it with Nickelodeon and the dude who said he was getting touched by one of the voice coaches. Can't remember his name. Do you see that shit? No. And the thing is, he was warning people about it and people didn't take him seriously. Now he's coming out with his story and a lot of folks are having to recognize it. But like people been knowing it, like Nickelodeon's a creepy place. Like they would see how Dan Snyder would be touching up on these little, including, uh, what's that girl, Ariana Grande. And people are like, but you're realizing, whether it's men or, you know, you know, little boys who are the victims, a lot of these older creepy dudes, you know, they go after ladies, they be going after dudes, and they're everywhere. And they gravitate towards that industry because it's very easy to amass power and eyes you, you want and influence over they, them. them. Them people want something, and they're willing to do a lot. And I'm telling you, this is not a conspiracy brain. I'm not a conspiracy brain person. No. I'm telling you what I see with my own eyes, and I'm telling you what I heard from people who have literally worked in that industry themselves, having lived in Los Angeles. Absolutely. There is a lot of that Absol shit. Uh, yeah, we heard but about hey, a lot. Of it's not even just the entertainment industry over there. The entertainment industry on a smaller scale, even in our current city here or in different ones, operates very similarly. And There's scandals every year that you guys never hear about, yeah. about people at the heads of industries who are choreographers, who are directors, who are stuff like that, who are touching young boys, touching older women, touching older men, and get away with it for years. And you only hear about it decades later. Every industry where there's teaching, whether it's dance, whether it's acting, whether it's tattoo artists, whether it's paint, sculpture, there's gonna be that. It's like Cat Williams says. In, 24, in 2024, a lot of truth is going to come out. No, no, no. Hell is coming for all these big dick predators. <laughs> no, no, no. Hell is coming for, in 2024, hell is coming from all these big dick deviants. Am I crazy? Did he not say that? Something like he that. He said big dick deviants. I ain't mad at it. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2020. I was close. No, it was, you, it, you, basically you said exactly the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I just couldn't believe he called them big dick deviants. I ain't mad at it. What a bar. But Yo, let Cat me. Williams was correct again. I'm telling you, there's a lot more of these weirdo, creepy dudes. You know, we had a reckoning recently just from a hip-hop dance scene where they had to come to terms with the fact that the godfather of hip-hop was a predator. Who am I talking about? Oh, you're talking about a freak of Bambada. Africa Bambada. Mm hmm Oh yeah. He was, How do you say his name? Africa Bambada. Okay. He was he was touching them little boys. Yup. Yo, yeah, yeah. Even the Zulu Nation dissociated from him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of these weirdos in these industries. Black, white, yellow, it don't matter. It, some some communities are a little bit better at hiding it, but trust me, they everywhere. They everywhere and they're and, and, and I think right now people are just coming to terms with the fact that it's a lot harder to hide these crimes. Because back in the day, you have to think, there wasn't the internet like there is today. Mm -hmm. Right? So why am I saying that? Because Puff Daddy controlled a lot. Nowadays, people have a lot more separation. He still has a lot of influence, but they have a lot more separation. They have a lot more avenues for revenue. You know, a lot of these women can get emancipated through different means. A lot of these dudes can get emancipated through different means in terms of like progressing their career. So now their power and their influence is being winged. But if we were still stuck in the 90s, this case is never being brought forward, ever. Because celebrity status today isn't what it used to be. It's just weird that in, I've heard about Diddy for so long. Sure. It's, it's just like, you remember um, R. Kelly, the R. Kelly stuff? Yeah. We've heard about that stuff for so long. Mm -hmm. The feds are raiding your house, it's already over. 
If it gets to the point where the feds are in your home raiding everything, it's because they already have a lot of information. They're essentially just looking for more corroborating evidence. They've got snitches. They've got people in there. They've got all kinds of footage. They've all kinds of message and documentation. It's not like Diddy is just getting some random one-off accuser. He's got like dozens mm. people alleging a lot of the same similar activities, including some of his ex-bodyguards. Mm. So, you know, when you have that many people are coming out with this from your ex-wife to an ex-partner to uh, random women you had your music video, your bodyguard, all these different people. And the thing is, nobody come into his defense, really. <laughs> How do you have that many parties, that many connections, and nobody, nobody. seen nothing on your behalf? And I'll say this, the black community love defending guilty niggas. And this one didn't And this one, all the niggas crickets. Just like, they were ready to defend R. Kelly. But this one, yeah, this, it, this one is a silent one. It's true. Every time Diddy says he's straight, I'm like, bye. You're not straight, bro. It's true. Everybody came out to defend You want to know why everybody. no one's defending him? You want to know why? Why? Because he's gay. It's... Because <laughs> he's gay. Because <laughs> yeah. I never stopped them from f***ing defending guilty niggas. Even if a dude was on camera pumping a child, they'd be like, they'll still defend him. They got Art Kelly peeing on a 14-year-old they didn't care. On cam. But this dude is gay. Yeah. And he tried to be gay with other niggas. And he tried, and, and they all talk about it. Yeah, they've been talking about it. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's it, and he's trying he try to turn other people too. Yeah, yeah, paying for that. Yeah, bro, if you've not seen the videos of Diddy being sus, I'm, no, no straight man acts like that. I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like when you when you scrambling and scraping. When you when you scrambling and scraping. Did you miss me though? For real, because we. I'm saying I miss, it seems like a thing. I miss with his party birthday with party, Puff, man. man I miss but I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, no, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Eyes, eyes. <laughs> no straight man acts like that. That dude has been gay. <laughs> and it's fine if you are, but the dude is doing that with straight guys. And I'm not gonna lie to you, gay powerful dudes who act very touchy and overbearing with straight dudes make me very uneasy. I mean, if they do that with women, it's creepy, but we all accept it. But when they do it with dudes, a lot of people will be brushing that shit over, not realizing a lot of these dudes be trying to get into dudes' butts. It's the same thing, yeah. really. Yeah. It's unacceptable for women. It's unacceptable for men, too. Like it's, just, it's plainly unacceptable. Yes, but, yeah. but societally speaking, gay yeah, dudes just... get away with a lot. Yes. They can grab you, they're, they're, touch they're, you, and yeah. do stuff. Because if you, if you say walk. something, people are going to come out and say that you're homophobic. No. It, it's He's just, just playing. It's, it's because the person being aggressive is a dude. The same thing, like, if a lady was being aggressive, people wouldn't care. They don't really care because the person on the receiving end is a man. And we don't really feel like men are deserving protection. But the truth is, this dude is really weird with dudes. Now, it's not to say he hasn't affected women or harmed them, too. He has. He absolutely has. Like, the stuff that Cassie was alleging and the reason why he settled that shit quickly is you best believe she probably got no Enough proof of that stuff so it's in his best interest to make sure that shit swept under the rug but hey we'll see we'll see that this whole thing case un unfolds but do i think he's guilty absolutely and mm. if the feds are on you you're guilty the way they are mm -hmm. you're right the feds cases if you ever read bring them shits like yo they have so many pieces of evidence think of six nine how quickly he started snitching when the feds come snitching <laughs> all, yeah, all these rappers if the feds coming after you going to jail young thug is going to jail and if it's a district, I believe it's like the district of New York, which means that this is probably a case that spans several different states, which means that he was doing trafficking across straight state lines. Well, but if he's traveling with these people, then it is state lines. Yeah. If he's traveling, he's on, if he's on shows and he's traveling with these people and he's paying those people to whatever, whatnot, yeah. then it is across state lines. They gonna nail this dude. Here, I thought it was interesting that the attorney's statement really basically confirmed for the public that some of the investigative interest was likely generated from these lawsuits, which is interesting because several of the lawsuits allege activity that likely would fall within the parameters of sex trafficking. Several of these women claim to have been transported from one state to another and then drugged and assaulted, um, or uh, his former girlfriend who claims to have been forced to perform acts with different people in different states as they traveled around the country so now a lot of people are saying look at all the names that are being named mm -hmm. in the court documents yeah you got princes princes of what, prince andrew 
Yeah. Prince. Uh, Why are you talking about the island? Ah, no, no. What's it? What's the prince? It's one of the princes of Diana's sons. One of the two. But I don't know the royal family. Whatever. One of the gingers. The one that still has hair. That one. Okay. Yeah. He's he's named in the documents. Yeah. All kinds of people are named in these documents. I got a question. He? Oh, I need to know where we stand. Are we still listening to bad boy music? <laughs> I wasn't listening to that shit really that much. But like, what, what Puff Daddy song are you going to miss? No, it's the bad boy. Missing you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, the 112 shit. That was bad boys. Just because it's bad boys, I don't care. It has to be a Puff Daddy track, that man. It's still bad boys is bad. It is Puff Daddy. Yeah, he might have produced it, but it doesn't mean he's on the track. Nobody gonna care. Nobody gonna care. Nobody gonna care. Who cares that he helped produce a song? Oh, stop it. Like, I could understand if somebody said, I don't wanna play no R. Kelly. Like, I still listen to that shit because it's fire. You know, like, I believe I could fly straight to jail. Congratulations. <laughs> but I like that song. I like that song. <clears throat> You know what I keep thinking about what? ever since like this whole Puff Daddy's guilty? What? I just imagine Puff Daddy just like having a nigga tied up to the bed and he's just hiding behind a curtain. He goes, every step you ah, ha, ha, That's nasty. Get the fuck out of here. You may. Every single thing. Every I'll be with Oh, yuck. Nigga, why won't you party with me? It's your birthday. I just want to take you shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you want to party with me, nigga? Just me and you, fabulous. Happy birthday to fabulous. I like it when you do it like that, daddy. Get the fuck out of here. Every step you take. You know punk daddy do some fruity shit like that. He can't just fuck a nigga normal. He got to do something creepy. I used to sing that shit to I used to sing that shit to Biggie before he died. Hit the note. Hit the note. <laughs> you guys take wanna that, know, take that, take that, you take guys that. wanna know how far take that, take how that. far back the, 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 the Puff Daddy's creepy? Y'all remember the Chappelle show? The Dylon Dylon skit. You know who ran that? He was imitating Puff Daddy. Yeah, from the from the from the, the And he was yeah. making Puff Daddy when he was imitating Puff Daddy, he was making him do the creepiest stuff. Yo, fam, Puffy just told us to go to the store in Brooklyn and bring him back a cheesecake and walk. What? All right, this is what's up. You can live here, you can record here, you can be bad boy artists here, but if you want to do it, first y'all got to walk to Queens and get me a sugar cookie. <laughs> a sugar cookie, man, this is crazy. We got it. Come on, man. But that was that was Puffy. Because one of the Danny D. Kane members, which is actually with the four four girl mm-hmm. group that was built by uh, Puff Daddy, ended making up coming, the, making the band. Yeah, making the band. Ended up coming out saying they do weird. So this is stuff that's been going on for 30, 40 years. It's not new. Mm-mm. Not new at all. But people are saying all of them. It don't matter. Sorry, cat. I don't want to hear you preach again. But it was. <laughs> You don't want to hear about the Big Dick Deviants? Yo, that's a bar. <laughs> that's a b- that's Big a Dick bar. Deviants catching hell in 2024. Cat that's Williams' inspiration. Yeah. All right. But anyways, um, <laughs> he was right. So we're going to see a lot more of this, but we want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about the fact that he's maybe found guilty very soon, according to the feds? It's very likely he's going to press charges and put it's it behind bars. It's going to gonna happen. If the feds are coming for you, say goodbye to your family. Take that, take that, take that.